Hi everybody, it's Nani and London and Harper. We are back with part two of our Dollar Tree hauls. They're going to be with me for one more after this, I think. We may have a number four, but I don't think so. So this haul, did you guys see what was in my thumbnail? They had different kind of sauces at the Dollar Tree this time. It is the Valetti's brand savory collection, smooth and flavorful, 100% olive oil. And the, this is the basil and it is a 24 ounce jar. I saw this brand in several different items at the store this time. I know they had a bunch of like marinades and things like that. Never seen this in the store. I know nothing about this brand and it does say on the back, it is made in the USA which I like that a lot. So if you guys know anything about this company, about these sauces, please let me know what you think. It looks really good. And this one is the garlic flavor. And they also had a marinara as well, but we just picked up these two. Yes, Harper? <laughs> Refrigerate after opening. Refrigerate after opening. And close it. And let me see if I can find an expiration date yes. here for you. Shake well before use. Top. You see an no expiration way. date? No. Not seeing an expiration Wait, date, right guys. There. Oh, there it is. Every time I say that, that I can't find an expiration date, you guys know that. That's when I find it. January 27th of 24. So a nice long shelf life on these. I thought you said 27. No, I think 24. See 24? I'm January 27th of 24. Oh. So, yeah. till. 2024 pretty good so we may give these a try for supper one night while the, while the girls are here and then hubby spotted these usually when they have the pringles brand chips they're usually in a smaller container this time they have the full size containers there and it says limited time only pringles brand these are the wavy with melted pub cheese so he grabbed one of these. I didn't even see these in the store, so I have no idea where where they even were. I don't even know. I was looking too. And the expiration date on this is October 15th of 22. You guys want to try a bite? Sure, yeah. That's right. So I'm we're here. gonna we're gonna go ahead and the girls are gonna try it. They are sealed on the top. <sighs> Foil seal. They they smell like cheesy, cheesy chips. London's gonna grab one. Harper's gonna grab one. You guys want to hold it up so they can see. They're kind of wavy. Looks like a lot of cheese on them. I have two. What do you think? Pretty good? Never tried this flavor before. Different. We'll see if Yummy. they give them a thumbs up or a thumbs down. What do you think, London? Thumbs up or thumbs down? London's just half and half. She's not quite sure about the flavor. Harper, what's your thoughts? Harper gives it a thumbs up. So it's take really that. Packed, it's packed full of flavor. Packed full of flavor, Harper says. Let's try one. So I have no idea if there are other flavors or not. And then we found these. It's the Cars brand, and it says the American Trail Mix, and it is salted peanuts. Let me see if I can see the ounces on here. Nice big bag. It's a seven ounce bag and the expiration date is January of 23, Detroit born 1933. So these looked really good. If you guys haven't noticed yet, we eat a lot of peanuts and all different types of nuts and nut mixes. We really like them a lot. So nice big bag of the peanuts. So we grabbed those and I have no idea if they had other styles, other types of nuts or not. I have no idea. So just grab that. And then the Littlest Lady, I showed some of these before, and I think you saw them in one of my last hauls. She's chewing things now, harder type foods, getting teeth. She really enjoys these. I had picked up a bag of the, these are the Munch Right Apple Cinnamon Flavored Baked Puffs, and it is a three ounce bag. Expiration date is September 29th. September 29th of 22. I didn't know if she ever had cinnamon before. So when they were here and her mom was with them, I gave them a bag for them to try at home. And I guess she really enjoyed these a lot. So we grabbed another bag just to have here at the house for when she stops. Those look good just to eat. Like I could eat those. You want to try a bag? Yeah. Yeah. Well, 
now they're going to try a bite and see what they think of these. And then we'll just seal them up and hopefully while the while these two grand ladies are here for this visit, hopefully the youngest daughter will bring the other grandkids over to visit with all the cousins together. So the baby will get to get to munch on these. They want me to yeah. try one. Are they good? Mm -hmm. I can see them in the apple. So good. Mm. Those are good. Let's hold them up one more time. These are really good. Really, really good. Mmm. Yum. Give these a try. She's turning into me. They're good. Thumbs up from me. Thumbs mm. up from London. Thumbs up from Harbor. We bought a couple more of these. It's the Jelly Belly. This is the watermelon flavor. It's the sparkling waters and it is a 16 fluid ounce can. We tried these. We opened the watermelon and tried them. They're very good. We we like these a lot, so we grabbed another one. And Harper is going to show the what is this one? The flavor is orange sherbet. Orange sherbet. Sherbet. Oops. Sherbet. Picked up one of these. We did not open these yet, but we're going to put this in the fridge or have it over ice here in a little bit and give the orange a try. But we really like the watermelon. So if you guys see these and you like sparkling water. Go ahead and pick them up because they're good. We like them. They, they're starting to bring out all their Easter candy. All the Valentine stuff now is marked down to 50 cents. Now the Easter candy is replacing it. And they had the Palmer's Little Friends. This is the Hollow White Chocolate Bunny. <clears throat> this one is the Little Friends Cookies and Cream. And this, this one is the Milk Chocolate. And if you, I'm not sure if you could hear her very well because she doesn't have a mic on. This is the milk chocolate. Milk chocolate. And this is Hoppy. So it's not a little friend. His name is Hoppy, but he looks just like his other little friends. Yeah, I see one. And it's milk chocolate. So these are hollow, by the way. Yep, they're all hollow. Has some in information on the back. So grab some of those to have. And I think the rest of this stuff is everything that London picked up. They were allowed to buy a particular amount of items. Mm -hmm. So she's going to go ahead. And what do you want to show first? She picked up all of these play sets. <laughs> she got, it's called Dollhouse Activity Kit. And it says collect all the scenes. And this one, it looks like it is a kitchen. This is the... What is it? The kitchen and the living room? What you'll do is if you look up here, it's the kitchen. Okay, let's, we'll do it this way. The they the reverse. Kitchen. On one side, it is a kitchen scene. And on the other side, it looks like an outside type scene. And they kind of remind me of the color forms. It has little removable stickers that you can just put the stickers on, take them off, have some fun. So that's this one that she caught. Kitchen and outside. Then this one is what is this one this kind of looks like the entrance That's hall and like a den and office if you look on the back right here it'll show you where it can it has office on that side and the in the other side of it is it looks like the front door like the entrance to the front door on that side it's like outside the front door inside the front door and also it comes with all the little stickers and does it say how many stickers you get on there Three sticker sheets. You get three sticker sheets and one 11 and a half inch doll in each one. Oh, you get a doll. Yeah, you must get the little doll that goes with it too. Yep, that's where you get the doll Oh, and as I well. see. They don't tell you which yep. one you got. That's yep. cool. And then this one is, it looks like the bedroom set and then yep. the outside garden. And about the same information, stickers and then the little, little Mr. doll. doll. So she picked up those, and those were the only sets that they could find. She went through them all and couldn't find any others. So I couldn't find the living room. Oh, she couldn't find the living room. So we're Every on the hunt. One. We're on the hunt. I'm going to go ahead and show this. This she already took out of the packaging to go ahead and play with last evening. She got the little doctor, doctor set. It has a set of tweezers. It has the little, not quite sure what you call these little grabber. Tweezers. Grabber instrument. Yeah. Like a puller. <laughs> it has I mean. a little thermometer, the stethoscope, and then a little little syringe. 
the one thing I don't like about this syringe is because whenever you go to pull it, this comes out. Yep, she didn't like it. The, the, the end of the syringe just pops out like that. It doesn't stay in very securely. So we may have to do something about that to keep it in, but cute little set. And they also had the other ones as well. The one that I thought she would get is the like the dentist kit and it has a set of fake teeth and little pullers and things like that but she picked this one instead so that's what she got the next thing she got are these cute little dog and cat let me see if i can do it without the the glare they're little houses and i don't know if you can see how cute that is this one has four dogs different colors brown brown puppies white puppies different poses in there and this one she opened already to show you better. This one is all the little cats. Four and little the cats. the door is actually open. Yep, the door's open. And then the kitty can come out. You can take the little kitties out and play with them on their own. They're hard to get out when you're not looking at it. Or you just tip it upside down and plop it out. And he just, he's man down. He, he hit the ground. But you can take out the little cats and play with them. And they're all in different poses. And they're they're just so, so cute. So she picked up that. This is probably one of my favorite kitties. She likes that kitty the best. Very oh, yeah, cute. And Casper. And it also has a little backing on it as well. that I think we had to attach that on its own, didn't we? Or yeah, no? it's a piece of cardboard. It's a little piece of cardboard that you kind of have to stick on the back. And then she found this. It, turn it, on, turn it on. is a light up little wand, changes color, and it's just called Just Pretending Dress Up Fun, and it is a light up wand. Just has a little heart in the center that changes color. And there's a switch on the back. Yep, switch off, switch on and off on the back. And it did come with one of the little pull tabs, right, that you mm -hmm. had to pull out. Yeah, there was a little pull tab in here that you had to pull out to start it up. So she picked that. And then what do you have, Harp? I also got that. That's Trevor. It's it. a... What's that word? Yeah, London actually picked up this as well. It's just called a novelty ball. It is one of the big squishy... You can actually use this as a... A punching bag. What do we call those back when we were kids? A punching bag? Punching ball? Punching ball. It kind of has that loop that you can do the same thing. They're just big and squishy and... Fun. Down in the burrow. So she picked up that, and that was what she got. And Harper really didn't pick up that much this time. She picked up a couple things for her mom and dad, and we're not going to talk about those because that's a secret. And she also picked up some kind of squishy tape to use for squishy. a project. And what else did you pick up? I can't remember what else she picked oh, up. The what, honey? Yeah, that was the thing that's the secret for your mom and dad. Can't think of what else Harper got, but she's not showing anything, I don't think, any of the stuff that she picked up this time. So, yeah, that was this haul, guys, right? We got everything. Went really fast. Got everything. Oh, we're up to 13 and a half minutes, so we're pretty good on time. So we have one more to do after this one. We're going to get this put away and move right along. So if you guys like this type of video, please subscribe. We'd love to have you as part of our YouTube family. You guys mean the world to me. Peace.